back in the building. You know what time it is. Yo, this is Charles Armstrong, CEO, Paradox Films, baby. LAFilmCompany.com. Video Inertia, ATLFilmCompany.com. KillerPride.com, Madline, you know how we do. Yo, I'm back, 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 back in Windows 8. Doing the thing, thing. Today I'm going to show you Auto's Desk Sketchbook Pro 2014. If you haven't witnessed it yet, this is the Enterprise Edition. I just wanted to give you, show you a couple, you know, just it's interested on knowing what the new Sketchbook Pro looks like. I'm going to show you today. Of course, you know, it's my favorite Sketchbook sketching program by far. Photoshop, can't touch it. Not far as, not when it comes to sketching. And doing, I'm a pencil artist. I, I draw naturally on 2Hs, 2B, ebony. So... I need that that sketch and feel that makes me feel like I'm really really drawing, and this is the only program that I've ever used that makes me feel like I'm really really drawing. Now the computer that I'm using is the HP TouchMark TM2T, eight gigs of RAM, five hundred gig SSD hard drive. This is my travel computer. Of course, it's not you know it's not like my big box. Got a Cintiq on the big box i7, uh, 28 gigs of RAM, crazy. But this is my laptop. This is my baby, best laptop I ever own. And uh, I'm gonna kind of show you what Sketchbook has to offer. I'm drawing directly on my screen today, not on the Wacom tablet or or Cintiq or I'm actually drawing on my PC. Take a look at um. Do a search on HP TouchSmart TM2T, the i5 version. It's a great laptop. So let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna do a simple sketch, nothing major. Let's just do an eye. Let me draw an eye. I'm gonna grab my pencil tool here. I'm gonna just show you the depth and how great this program is. This is awesome. I'm going to go into it. We're gonna start off in the light shade of gray. Start off with a, this little brief sketch. Contour of an eye here. You hold down space bar, you can zoom in. It's awesome. Whenever I do draw any portraits, I always, I don't know for some reason, I always start with the right eye. It's crazy. I don't know, it's kind of like my comfort zone. And I usually draw the left eye. Then I draw the contour of the head. Then I start sketching in my mouth and my lips. And I don't know, I'm weird like that. I don't know why I draw like that. Most people sketch out the entire hair first. I usually start with the eyes. To me, if you don't have the eyes correct, that person never looks right for some reason. So I always, always spent a whole lot of time like 
really studying people's eyes and looking at people's eyes when I talk to them. So I like to see how, how how light hits people's eyes and how colors change. And usually, to me, people's their eyes are like the key to your soul. It's um, it's crazy. You can usually tell when somebody's not telling the truth or you know something crazy. Just look into their eyes. That's why I've always, you know, always stressed to anybody I ever instructed or taught how to draw. Always make sure you focus first on your eyes. I, I think that's most important. So as you see, I'm like, Sketchbook has a, a great sensitivity when it comes to sketch marks and knowing your stroke is it's, it's unbelievable since they started making this program I haven't I haven't sketched on paper in a long time unless I really just have the urge to I've tried sketching like this in Photoshop it just doesn't look like this this, this looks so much like paper. It's scary. It's a very, very user friendly program. If you're a real sketch artist, I would suggest you really purchase this program, Autodesk.com. And it, it's, it's, it's way cheaper than Photoshop. I have Photoshop also, CS6, Adobe.com, check that out also. But, um, yeah, it's a great program, great for sketching. And if you're a real sketch artist and you like to draw on paper and conventional, I'm telling you, I'm even talking from a guy that all, all I draw is on a crescent board my entire life. I never think I, I never thought in my life I'll go fully almost digital. Not a hundred percent, but I would say almost digital. This is nothing like complex or anything. It's just you know, just kind of give you an idea of what this program can do. Baseball, like I said, hold it down. And what they did in this one, you have a you have a new color puck now. This is your side brush. Now you have a color puck, which is pretty cool. So you don't all you don't have to change your colors. The go you can go here now and change your color, which is pretty awesome. So that's a good thing that's about that's in this new sketchbook. It's, that's real nice is that new color puck feature I'm going to apply a little bit more darks on top of this I like I like to really like you know shade in, in layers it gives more of a natural feel versus trying to start everything off in just black and try to blacken everything out. Then you're trying to put shades in between your dark, and it, it never it never looks natural because things aren't really made that way. Things have shades in them; they have build-ups to them. There's always a base color first, even if you're doing black and white. There's still a base, which is usually a light gray, depending on your subject. Never worry about trying to leave your highlights in as you're drawing. Always do it afterwards. Use erasers. 
use a rubbing technique or something that you're comfortable with to bring your highlights out. Never try to, I, I see people make mistakes all the time trying to draw their highlights in as they're drawing. And highlights aren't made in nature like that. Usually it's made off of light bouncing off of something that's creating that luster of a shine. It's not built into your skin, so you wouldn't necessarily draw a shine into your skin. You would add that on top of what you're drawing or creating. I see people make that mistake a lot while they're drawing or painting. Put some eyelashes on. I don't know, I guess it's a girl. I don't know. Guess I'd rather be drawing a woman's eye than a male's eye. So why not? Let's just put some some eyelashes in here. I'm just showing you, like, you know, how the stroke is. It's like, it's awesome. I don't even understand the algorithms in this program, which is unbelievable. Grab an eraser, double click on them, you can always adjust the settings and the properties of every tool that you want to use. So I mean that's Sketchbook Pro and, and what you can do with it, I mean I think it's a phenomenal piece of software. I haven't seen anything like it ever when it comes to sketching. So just get a play around with it, download the demo if you like it, buy it. It's a great program. Yeah, you know, I, I recommend it to anybody who who sketches on a daily basis. Please get this program. It's way better than Photoshop when it comes to your initial sketches and feeling more comfortable and natural. And like, I mean, the tools are just. They're crazy. I mean, you got French cars in here. I mean, it's nuts. 
Check them out, Autodesk.com. This is Charles Armstrong, CEO of Paradox Films. We get busy out here. We work all day, all night. We're making this money. We've got to make things happen, and we have no problem sharing this knowledge to you wonderful people out there. Enjoy yourself. LAFilmCompany.com, ATLFilmCompany.com, USAFilmCompany.com, KillerPride.com. Check us out. Watch out for Chuck Wheeler Day off the TV show. It's crazy.